My Lanta, there's got to be an easier way to remove sensitive information from XER files. It's so frustrating to see people trying to do all these manual workarounds to get that sensitive data out of there. Or sometimes we just don't even bother, say, cost loading a schedule because it's too complicated to remove it for when we're sharing our projects. I want to show you an easy solution that solves some of these problems. I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way that I've found anyways to remove information from XER files that you want to send to other companies, contractors, owners, claims consultants, whoever. Okay. So let me start here by showing you this project. This is the project we're going to work with. And this is a project used in my advanced course. Now have a look at the project. It's cost loaded. It also has, you know, a bunch of different calendars. It has got notebook topics on some activities. It's even got user-defined fields. Now let's say some of this is information that I don't want to share with whoever I'm sending the XER file to. Well, I don't need to create a new copy of that, XE, of that project in P6 and then try to delete stuff and then export it. I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. So I've already taken the project and exported it here to my desktop. So here's the project in XER file format. I want to talk about a tool that's going to help us do this really quick. It's called Schedule Cleaner. So let's show you how Schedule Cleaner works. Okay, let's add the file here in Schedule Cleaner. Here it is, I'm going to open it up. Boom, there we go. Okay, so Schedule Cleaner has this quick mode and a batch mode. And batch mode lets you process lots of XER files. So you could line up a whole, you know, 12 XER files and process them all in one click. Or we can use this kind of quick mode. So have a look. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to have it keep the original XER file intact, but create a new one that's cleaned. And it's going to have this file name with a dash clean suffix on it. So that's how we know that's the one we're going to send. Now let's have a look at some of the things we can do here. What are we going to do? We're going to, we can say clear all units, remove all man hours, clear all resource rates, clear all costs in general, pricing. We can even clear that pesky POBS data problem. We can change the output file version number. And you know what? This is just a drop in the bucket of the things that we can do. So if I click customize here, here are a list of all sorts of transformations that we can make to this project. And we're going to add a couple here. So let's say I want to remove all references to any activity codes. So I'm going to remove activity codes, activity code values, and activity code assignments. Those are going to all vanish. Let's say I want to protect my notebooks. I'm not going to share my notes. So I'm going to remove those as well. And let's go down to the bottom here and let's remove any user-defined fields and user-defined field values. Let's get rid of those two. Okay, so let's add those in to our sort of template here. And now let's pick how we're going to transform this. So let's get rid of rates. Let's get rid of costs and pricing. Let's get rid of our activity codes and check on notebook topics as well as user-defined fields. And we're going to remove all of this stuff. Okay, click the green button and it's done. Okay, let's go have a look. Here is my clean file with the dash clean on it and I'm going to open it up in Schedule Reader, which is another tool that I like a lot and it makes it really quick to dig in to XER files without having to import them. Okay, so here we go. So if I expand this a little bit more, you'll see my budgeted total cost column is completely zeroed out. So I've removed all of the costs. And if you look back on my screen, I did have a notebook here on this summary project cost activity and we'll have a look and there are no, no notebooks there at all. And I've also removed any user-defined fields that were associated with the project as well as all of the activity coding values. So how quick and easy was that? Super quick and easy with Schedule Cleaner. Okay, I think Schedule Cleaner is such a great tool, you should go try it out yourself. And you can from our website, just go to planacademy.com slash schedule cleaner, no dashes, just that URL, and grab a 15-day free trial, test it out, see if you like it. 
I want to wrap this video up by just mentioning a little bit about how Scheduled Cleaner is positioned in the marketplace. You're going to find that it's a fairly expensive tool because Scheduled Cleaner is a tool that is being geared towards the enterprise. They really want companies to adopt this tool and if you are in a company that adopts this tool, you can see how the value is exponential. There's great value in this tool and I've only shown you a little bit about what it can do. So don't balk too much at the price, but if you work in an organization, see if you can convince your boss to get a copy. Anyways, I'm Michael. I hope you got some value out of this video. Happy planning. See you soon.